What's up YouTube? It's Sack from Banging Tech Reviews and in this video I'm going to be introducing a new series and the series is basically about how to make the most out of your Windows 7 operating system and the first video I'm going to start off with you know is a task scheduler it's when you can turn off your computer at any desired time so you know this is quite good for people who are doing YouTube or downloading at late into the early mornings or well into the early morning shall I say you know I've certainly stayed up until 4am 3am and it does get quite tiring and quite annoying you know I even left my computer on uh, for six seven hours extra of unnecessarily just so you know I don't have to wake up um, you know you're going to be wasting a lot of electricity you're not going to be e um, you're not going to be eco-friendly and it's just a way of turning off your computer when you don't need it really so I'll show you what to do guys basically all you have to do you go into start then command sorry control panel as you can see I've got it up already then you go into system and security click on that and right at the bottom you do have administrative tools you click on that and then you have a list of options so obviously we're going to be starting a new task so we have to go to start sorry task scheduler click on that and then we're going to be creating a basic task so you have to go into action and then create basic task make sure you click on that and then obviously you're going to be turning off your computer at a certain time so let's say um, so we shut down shut down PC at 3 a.m. for example 3 a.m. whoops double fail uh, we don't need anything for the description so we can go next next thing we get is a trigger function so you know we can trigger it daily weekly monthly one time only or when you log on etc so if you're uploading on a daily basis, you want to turn it off at a certain time, weekly or monthly, etc. Or if you just want to do it on a one time, I'll do it for a one time basis only just for demonstration. Let's go next. And then let's say I want to turn it off on the, um, you know, at 3 a.m. next day. So obviously it's going to be 19th, let me put 19th of June 2012. And all you do is you change the time to 3, 0, 0. Zero, 0 so it will shut down at 3 o'clock exactly uh, you can also synchronize across time zones but I don't need to do that and the action will be to start a program so I go next again and then the program script is going to be shut down execution so you can type that in shut down x dot x but I'm going to browse it to show you where it is hidden um, we're going to local disk C under Windows or system and then system 32 or if you have a 64-bit computer it's going to be under system 64 um, I don't want to look for it it's going to be too long so all you can do is type in shutdown dot and then we'll come up shutdown dot x obviously you open that and for the arguments we put down s slash you know that will make it shut down and then if you want to force all the other applications to close then you put down force so no, that will if you don't have to worry about anything saving etc. If a system crashes, then that will just you know force everything to close, and that's all basically. You put down um, shutdown as execution as you can see. Program skip C hyphen. Um, I don't think that's a hyphen. That's a colon. Sorry, as you can see all the information over there. Um, S slash F slash, and then we go into next, and that's it. You don't have to do starting. That's um, not required. We go to next. And then you finish the whole task off, guys. So that's how you turn off your computer at your desired time, whenever you need it, etc. You can turn it off at 6 a.m., 1 a.m., depending on what your needs are. And I hope you find the video informative, guys. I certainly didn't know of this feature a couple of months ago, and it definitely has helped me a lot. So I can turn off the computer whenever I want now. Um, yeah, guys, and if, hope you, I hope you found this video informative. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, then please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.